even though we change ourselves in the process, the roots are still in the ground. And this roots to us is our tradition. What Xiongling has been doing is really trying to find that balance while trying to move forward. So we don't totally give up what traditional Nanin is, but we also try to build on the roots and the basis of Nanin and adding on modern elements to make it more easy to listen to or acceptable to today's audiences. Xiongling has always been trying to expand on tradition. We do really try hard over the past few years to try to find a new sound that's unique and that you can only hear in Singapore. So we've actually worked with a lot of different elements such as Indian dance, um, the Indian tabla, Malay kompang, acoustic guitar, jazz music. So through an Odyssey to the South, of course, I think we hope that the audiences can see the growth and the transformation of Nan'in from traditional to what it has become today. So I think through this experimentation processes, we are also trying to find the sweet spot, like what I said. What is acceptable? What is the balance between tradition and modern? We have to find ways to survive. And so to us, that is trying to find new ways to interpret and new ways to present our art form to the audiences today.